So there are a few different reasons why your pump might be surging in its rate. Uh, one of the most common reasons is your control valve calibration. So looking at the single product Green Star controller, go ahead and select your rate controller, hit the systems tab, and then hit the PWM setup. Your control valve calibration will vary uh, for each pump system. If you are using an electric system, it should be 9911. If you are using the GX5 hydraulic pump, it should be 4012. So the first two digits here are what you can change up and down to change the pump's response rate. So let's say if we have a hydraulic pump and our control valve calibration would normally be 4012. If your uh, pump rate is surging, what you can do is lower the first two digits, say to 3012. And once you lower those two digits, your pump should start uh, it should take longer to get to your target rate, meaning that you're slowing down the pump's response rate. Now, say if your pump is too slow to get to target rate, you could raise that number up. Say if it's 4012, you could take it to, say, 5012, and then your pump should react faster. But the thing is, you don't want to put in a rate that is too fast or too slow, because what's going to happen is your, if your pump is always too fast and you're never going to lock in on rate, it's going to keep surging. Uh, but if your pump is too slow, you're never going to get to target rate, or at least it's going to take quite a while to get to target rate. For the John Deere 2000 multi-product liquid rate controller, and also the Raven RCM, the settings will both be the same. So you will want to go to your John Deere rate controller 2000. Once you're there, uh, go ahead and press setup, and then press your settings go to control valve setup, and then your valve response rate is the setting you would be looking at. For the GX2 electric pump, you'll typically want to keep it at 100. For the GX5 hydraulic pump, you will typically want to keep this at 80. And if your pump is too slow to react to rate, go ahead and raise your valve response rate. If your pump is too uh, fast, and go ahead and lower your valve response rate. So you could lower this to whatever increment you want. Uh, put in the number that you think would work best, test it, and then adjust from there if needed. On an Ag Leader Direct Command, this would be the first gen. Uh, you would be looking at your PWM gain. So for an electric system, your gain should be 9999. For a GX5 hydraulic pump, you'd be looking at 2500. So to get there, when you're on your main screen, hit controller settings controller valve settings, and there is your PWM gain. So if your pump is too slow to react to rate, go ahead and raise that PWM gain number. If your pump is reacting too fast and surging, go ahead and lower the PWM gain number to whatever uh, digits you think would work best. Test it from there and then adjust as needed. For the Trimble Field IQ, depending on the version you have, it could either be your proportional gain or your integral gain. And it's, in uh, my case, it's going to be my proportional gain, but depending on the version of controller you have, typically it's the newer version, your integral gain uh, will be the number you want to change instead. So in my case, since I'm using the proportional gain for a GX2 electric pump, you would want to keep your proportional gain at 15. Uh, for a GX5 hydraulic pump, you would want to keep your proportional gain at 10. Now, if you want, if your pump is too slow to react to rate, go ahead and just raise that number as needed. If your pump is reacting too fast to rate, go ahead and lower that number as needed uh, so you can adjust your pump from surging. Now, how you get there when you're on their main page, hit your field IQ, hit calibrate, press drive calibration, press next. Go ahead and you can leave your master switch off. You don't need to do the auto tune, so just skip that. Hit advanced parameters, and there are your settings. Once you have those in, press accept and next, and then your setting will be saved. On Ag Excel's Auto X controller, press and hold the cal button for three seconds. You'll see your red light comes on. This means you're in the calibration mode. Switch your knob so it's over pressure, and then this value here will be can go from positive four to negative 12. By default, it's normally negative one or negative three for both the GX2 electric and GX5 hydraulic diaphragm pump. So if your pump is too slow to react to rate, go ahead and you can raise that number and you can see if that helps you or else if your pump is surging and too fast to react to rate, you can lower this number to whatever value is needed. Let's say you need to try negative seven first 
to save that setting, go ahead and press and hold Cal, and then you can put your controller and run, and you can try to test the system from there, or if you just need to go back into calibration mode, you can put in your target rate, you can put in your speed, put your controller and run, and then you can test your pump system from there.